Hey everybody, Pastor Jason here again with the Bartley United Methodist Church, and do we have a special episode for you this week? Wait right there. What? No, it's it's not B. Arthur. It's it's John Wesley. Hmm. Anyway, John Wesley, this week on Three Minute Methodism. John Wesley. Born in 1703 in Epworth, England, the 15th of the 19 children of Samuel and Susanna Wesley, he was educated primarily by his mother in the early years of his life. In 1728, he would be ordained as a priest in the Church of England. Not long after, he began to lead the holy club that his brother Charles began at Oxford University. Now this was a club that gathered regularly for Bible study and for prayer and fellowship and for good works like reaching out charitably to the poor in their area, visiting the prisons and the hospitals and fasting. This methodical approach toward holy living earned them the name Methodist. But even though it was meant in a derogatory way, John Wesley embraced it and Methodist we are. Between 1735 and 1738, John Wesley was engaged in a mission trip to Savannah, Georgia. He considered the trip a failure for a variety of reasons, but upon his return, he found himself in something of a, of a spiritual funk, a crisis, as it were. He continued to fellowship with a group of German pietists, who were just about as rowdy as they sound, called Moravians. One evening, he went very unwillingly, in his own words, to a religious gathering at Aldersgate Street. And it was there at that religious gathering where he heard the preface to the Epistle to the Romans written by Martin Luther being read. As the person was reading, John Wesley writes in his journal that he heard this word about the change that God works in our heart through faith in Christ. And it was in that moment that John Wesley felt his heart strangely warmed. It turns out that it wasn't just the burritos that he'd had for dinner. After that, John Wesley's ministry was scarcely the same as he began preaching and teaching with renewed vigor concepts of faith and of grace. By the time of his death in 1791, Wesley had traveled some 250,000 miles, mostly on horseback, preached around 40,000 sermons, and Methodism, which had begun with just four members, had ballooned to some 132 thousand. Wow. Wesley's influence is still felt to this day all around the globe as dozens of Christian denominations trace their theological heritage back to him and to his teachings on things like holiness and sanctification. Moreover, many schools and colleges and even hospitals are named for John Wesley. That's all for this week. We'll see you next time on 3-Minute Methodism. Until then, stay holy, my friends.